Hey everyone, welcome. Another great business video tip from me, Katrina Sawa, to you, the entrepreneur that's probably uh, overworked and overwhelmed this summer, I'm guessing, or you're taking a little hiatus, hopefully. What I wanna talk to you today is about summer fun as an entrepreneur and how to really make sure you um, schedule in fun time whether it's the summer or any time of year. Uh, one thing that's super important as an entrepreneur is we keep up our own self-care, our own fun family time, and time for yourself, time to rejuvenate, time to really just enjoy. And so because it's the month of July here in uh, 2019, I wanna talk about that. I wanna talk about how to really make sure you can schedule in fun, even if you are you know, it's really struggling to make money or get clients right now and pay the bills. It's so important to take, you cannot work 24 seven, 365, because you will burn out. You will burn out, you will stress out, and you won't really have, you won't project that energy, that positive energy that people want to see and need to see, frankly, in order to hire you in the first place. So be careful, go, go, going. And I know that's coming strange coming from me because I'm like the go, go girl, right? I do so much. These people think that I do, but technically I do delegate a lot. I have a really great team who, who does a lot for me so that I can you know, unplug when I'm gone for a vacation for a week for perhaps, or even just a long weekend. I don't have to, I'm not tied to my phone. In fact, one of my tricks, not it's not a trick, one of my things that I tell my clients is, be careful tying your business to your cell phone. And I mean, I have a landline phone. I have a, yep, I have a corded phone, you guys. <laughs> um, that's the phone that I do um, my coaching calls on, a lot of my interviews on radios and podcasts and things like that because it's, number one, it's a better line. It's more clear, it's uh, better to record on, frankly than a lot of the other, than your cell phone, that's less, like, less reliable. But it also doesn't tie you to your phone. And in fact, the only people that have my cell phone number are my friends and family, of course, um, and my high-end mastermind clients are my one-on-one -on -one clients. Nobody that just comes to my event gets my cell phone number. Now, if you think you've texted me in the past and you've used my business card, then you've been trying to text my landline and it doesn't work. I don't do texting with people who aren't already a, a client of mine because I don't want to be that accessible to people who, I'm, I'm really accessible to people that are working with me, put it that way. And I have time for the people that really want to jump in with two feet and get some help. So be careful doing that and being too accessible to anyone just because you know you need to make a buck, okay? Now you can get Google Voice uh, phone numbers that can forward to your cell phones. You can still use your cell phone for business, but mask the number somehow so and have an actual business line. You know, one of the little tips I use also is I use Vonage. Vonage is a service that I use. Uh, because I can move and I don't have to change my phone number ever. I can move out of country, out of the state and take Vonage with me. It'll plug into the internet anywhere and I can still keep my same business phone number. So just a quick little sidebar. <laughs> okay, so when you have that figured out, then it is easier to unplug from your phone, turn off your notifications. Yes, I did. I did just say turn off your social media notifications perhaps even uh, stop looking at your email. Like my Gmail is what comes to my phone, but my Gmail is not where I check my regular business emails. So in fact, people don't get my Gmail address either. That's for personal stuff. Um, so my business email comes only to my Mac desktop sitting in my office in my home. And in fact, if I want to travel and have some emails come to my phone, I have to CC my phone, my Gmail, with the um, by going logging into my email accounts online and my hosting accounts. So I have to do that extra step if I want to CC the emails with me when I'm gone, which I don't always want to do, right? I can also CC one of my assistants if I wanted to, and they could take care of some of the emails. Um, I could also have somebody log in to my desktop, like if I'm not here, 
you know there's a service, right, that enables people to, like an assistant, or I have my computer guy do this when I have computer glitches or need help on my computer. He'll do, uh, he'll log into my desktop, remote access from his house or whatnot, and so will my assistant occasionally. And then they can, it's like they're sitting in, at my desk on my computer, so they can manage email, they can do things and get into files and things like that. So that's a possibility, right? Did you even know that? Right, so some of you may, some of you may not, but that's important to make sure that you can clear the decks. We have to clear the decks if you wanna take a vacation. Even if you wanna take a couple day off, days off to rejuvenate, clear the decks, you guys. Clear the decks and unplug. It is critical to your sanity, <laughs> to your heart, to your emotional state of being, to your physical well-being, to uh, the your creativity even. When you come back, you can you know, rejuvenate it. You'll have a sense of uh, appreciation for the business and the clients that you have in my, that's, I, I highly recommend it. So I mean, I've had clients that have come to me and haven't taken a vacation for, since they started their business, day one, however long that was. One client, even five years, five years she was working in her business without a single vacation. Now she takes one to two weeks a year because we've gotten her to the place where she has, she has staff now, she, she has systems, she has people that can manage the business without her. Before, everything relied on her, right? Everything relied on her. Nothing would come in, no business would get booked, no money would come in unless she was there. If that is how you're running your business, then it's going to be really hard for you to take a vacation, and I understand. But if you don't figure out how to automate, delegate, systematize sooner than later, what if something happens? What if something happens to you or your significant other or a friend or family member, and you have to go take care of them? You need to be able to uh, unplug and get out of the office on your own, whether it's for a tragedy, uh, helping someone else, helping yourself, or taking a fun vacation. Like, where do you wanna go? Come on, dream big. Put it on your vision board. If you, even if you wanna go somewhere that you have no idea how you're gonna pay for it, you wanna go on a cruise around the world for a month and a half, uh, you know, a 45 day cruise around the world, great. Put it on your calendar for like three years from now, two years from now, and just start saving, putting money away. Like have an auto, I just started doing an auto withdraw from one of my accounts and I stuck it in this account in this different bank that I don't even have access to, okay? And because I wasn't, I'm really bad with that too, you guys. Full disclosure, seriously, I don't funnel money out a lot. I do invest in things and Put back in my business but I needed to save because I want to make sure that my family has two vacations a year at least for a week and so we already took one we went to Disneyland this summer I got a blog post I can show you some pictures from it was really fun with my stepdaughter Riley and my husband Jason and we have pet sitters so if you have pets you know we have we found an amazing pet sitter who we can take our two german shepherds over to and they live in her house while we're gone you can get people to live in with your pets you and your if you have cats or whatever whatever you have if you have horses and property you can still take a vacation there's people that will come house sit you can put your horses and and board your horses there's there's always a way. You just have to find a way to make it happen. Honestly, if you don't do this, what's going to happen if you go years or months and months and months without a break, right? Are you going to burn out? I have friends that have written books on burnout before, and it's not funny. It happens. It happened so bad that they had to write a book about it so they could share it with other people. I just got a new client who just burned out in her in her company that she was working for. And, you know, she's revamping a new business now. Burnout is a thing. And I don't want you to experience that. I want you to have fun. Now, if you're the type that doesn't want to take a week vacation, then take a four day weekend every single month. Why not? You deserve it. You deserve a break. You just have to figure out how to get it scheduled in. Put it on your calendar and make it happen. Save a couple bucks every week, whatever you need to do, make a goal and set 
the action plan in place to reach that goal. Please, I beg you, this is huge. This is huge for really building a consistent revenue generating business that you love forever, okay? So <laughs> I get so passionate about this stuff. I hope you do something and um, I hope you do something this summer. I hope you can get away at least a little bit. Let me know if you need help putting that plan together. I am super good at helping people really prioritize, um, making sure you're clear and focused on the things you're doing, how to delegate them, how to systematize things, and I love to do that. So come and talk to me. You can go to askcat.biz, A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z. You can sign up for a call with me. We can schedule it in and get you rocking and rolling so that you can have the amazing life and business of your dreams this year and forever. <laughs> All right. Have a blessed day. We'll talk to you soon.